The Israel Defense Forces IDF, have claimed the world's first use of artificial intelligence AI, and supercomputing in its recent conflict with Hamas. IDF said it relied heavily on machine learning and data gathering for a period of over two years during its operation Guardian of the Walls. An IDF Intelligence Corps senior officer was quoted by Jerusalem Post as saying, for the first time, artificial intelligence was a key component and power multiplier in fighting the enemy. This is a first-of-its-kind campaign for the IDF. We implemented new methods of operation and used technological developments that were a force multiplier for the entire IDF. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Israel's claim that it's the first to use AI and supercomputing in a war holds true. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. This recent conflict began on May 10, 2021. The fighting saw Hamas firing an estimated 4,300 rockets toward Israel and Israel conducting 1,500 airstrikes in the nearly two weeks of fighting. The recent fighting is some of the most fierce since the 2014 conflict. The interesting part is that IDF was able to carry out pinpoint airstrikes against Hamas targets deep inside Gaza and took down at least 100 of their top operatives. This is not an easy feat since Hamas was prepared for air raids and hid its assets, both men and material, in obscure locations amid civilians. Most of the infrastructure built by Hamas and its supporters in the Gaza Strip was destroyed by the Israeli jets, which were targets identified through military intelligence. Importantly, very little ground troops took part in the whole offensive. The Israeli military says it adapted the AI technologies already available in the civilian market to its needs in military intelligence. An advanced AI core platform was conceptualized and all data on militant groups in the Gaza Strip was fed into it for evaluation. Israel has foreseen military use of AI and being in a highly sensitive region has invested in it. The country has prioritized the concepts of machine learning and algorithm-driven warfare at the forefront of its research and development for years. Viewers may note that AI works by combining large amounts of data with fast, iterative processing and intelligent algorithms, allowing the software to learn automatically from patterns or features in the data. Tons of raw data collected through satellites, aerial reconnaissance vehicles, field agents, ground intel were put into the system. IDF reportedly employed resources like Signal Intelligence SIGINT, Visual Intelligence VISINT, Human Intelligence HUMINT, Geographical Intelligence GEOINT to collect data and feed it into its supercomputers to help the military identify targets and carry out effective strikes. According to the reports by Jerusalem Post, it was IDF's elite intelligence officers in Unit 8200 which pioneered algorithms and code to create advanced programs named Alchemist, Gospel, and Depth of Wisdom, which were developed and used during the fighting. One important aspect of the operation has been Israel's success in pre-identification and targeting of underground tunnel networks 
used by Hamas. IDF stated that it carried extensive mapping to identify the hundreds of kilometers of tunnel networks that Hamas has been using for years. The tunnel construction, first employed extensively in 2014 Israel-Gaza conflict, has its origins in the tunnels of Egypt that were constructed to overcome Egyptian and Israeli economic blockade on the coastal enclave which has been in effect since 2007. The tunnels into Israel were constructed using the expertise of the Rafah families who have specialized in digging tunnels into Egypt for commerce and smuggling. Hamas's underground tunnel network called the Metro has been very crucial in the operations against Israel. The tunnels are used to smuggle goods, including weapons, which are prevented by the Israeli blockade from reaching Gaza over land and sea. The Jerusalem Center for Public Affairs, an Israeli security think tank, stated, Tunnel warfare provided armies facing a technologically superior adversary with an effective means for countering its air superiority. According to the IDF spokesperson, over the last decade, Hamas has invested millions of dollars into digging extensive tunnel infrastructure below the surface of the Gaza Strip. With AI and other supporting technologies, Israel was able to identify and pinpoint them. One video posted on Twitter showed Hamas digging out bodies from a tunnel destroyed by Israeli precision airstrikes. The unit was reportedly on its way to attack Israeli troops when a missile dropping from the sky destroyed it. Now Hamas has been deprived of a key combat strategy. Artificial intelligence is thought to have been used in many conflicts in the past, but the way Israel has used it this time is the clearest demonstration of its ability to change the course of a battle. IDF says the use of AI had significantly reduced the civilian casualties, though some airstrikes are being investigated by world bodies, including the UN. But overall, it can be seen that IDF has been able to inflict heavy damage on Hamas in this short time period without suffering huge casualties of its own. Israel has always been steps ahead of its rivals. And the latest conflict is another example. While no system is perfect, Israel seems to keep on optimizing its assets and this has helped it overcome its rivals. It's not wrong to say that Israel has ushered in a new age, especially when it comes to battles in urban landscapes.